So I'm joined by Robbie Blake. First game pre-season, Robbie, against Littlehampton. Unfortunate end to the game, but yeah. what was your thoughts up until that? I thought there was some good stuff being played. Yeah, I was really pleased. You know, first half, we had a good shape about us, good organisation and sort of patterns we worked on in training so far. So for us to be sort of the players responding to that so early in since being back, which is probably three and a half seconds, you know, we're really pleased with that. And, um, you know, hopefully we can, you know, get better at that, um, but on a continuous level and, and sustain that over a number of time, a number of minutes. And um, no, I'm really, really pleased with the application of the lads and the effort. And, um, you know, that's all you can ask for because the first games are always difficult. You know, Little Hampton are a good side. They had a fantastic um, season last year and, you know, they're very well coached and managed. So we, we're just pleased with that. You know, we're really pleased with that. And I said to the players beforehand, we want to win the game. But the, the, the sort of the result wasn't the main thing. The main thing is having the application, desire to work, right, and the commitment for Bognor Leeds Football Club. And I think, to be fair, we showed that. So, you know, really pleased from, from that point of view. Well, I came down to training last week, <coughs> and exactly what you and Jamie were doing in that match situation, I saw tonight, I'm, I'm not going to say it on the radio, because it, other teams might listen in, but how pleasing is it to see? It's just like you said, taking on board what you said in training and putting it out on the pitch. Yeah, and that's what it's all about. It's about people being receptive to that. And, and believing in it. I think we've got a group of players that believe in me and Jay. And, um, you know, we, we're open to add a couple of more players. Um, and if we can do that, great. And, um, you know, but what we want is we want people to play for Bogdan. We want that ethos and that connection, the chemistry with the club, the players, the, the supporters. And that's what we need because, you know, we need that desire and energy from players to come in and, and be part of a squad. Well, we saw nine changes at half time. Yeah. Must have been pleasing for you to make them. Yeah, no, I think you have to. I think the first game of the season, you've got to be careful, Pete, because, you know, the lads have trained and they've trained hard. They've had great application, but nothing prepares you sometimes for games. And what we didn't want to do is after 50, 60 minutes, start fatigue getting in and, and stuff like that. So I felt it was important that we, we use the squad in terms of who we've got at the minute and make sure, we, you know, we did that. And, you know, like you say, luckily, it looks like we've got we've come on unst unst like you know no injury, so which is great. So we've seen the four players that have been announced on social media: uh, Tom Shelley impressed, Taylor Seymour in goal, Joe Rabbit, and of course uh, Sam in the middle there. What's your thoughts on them for? Yeah, so no, far? really good uh, acquisitions at the minute. Um, things to work on, obviously. Uh, you know the patterns of play and, and and getting on side of how we want to play. No, because a majority of the players have had that before. So, yeah, no, really pleased with the acquisition of uh, the players we've brought in. Want another couple of more players and hopefully in the next couple of weeks we can get them in. Yeah, I was going to say, is there any idea of when, because uh, <coughs> there's been a couple of players coming to drain in, any idea of if you, of when we can announce them, if we will? Uh, oh, oh, listen, we've still got, was it, five weeks to go to the start of the season, so there's still plenty of time and um, we're still looking. What we've got to do is we've got to be caref careful and stupid in the market in terms of the players we bring in because we need to bring the right players in and the right sort of, um, you know, attitude towards the club. You know, that's what we got. We're, we are a unique, fantastic football club and we got we can't sidetrack from that. We've got to keep adding the players that I feel are good for that. I know it's a hard one for a manager <coughs> in pre-season. You have to be hard to name players, not to name players as, yeah. as this, because they're not signed yet, anything can happen no, no, to the end of the season. Well, yeah. well, we've got James... Back, James Crane scoring another header, but we're going on. I, I said at half time, Tom Holland, Biff are coming on, Howick. They look like they've been playing for years for the yeah, club. Yeah, no, it's, it's great. It's great that we've got that youth, and we, not only youth, to use them. They're good players. Mm. You know, Tom cuts inside, great ball in for Crane. He's the second goal. Um, yeah, no, we need that. We need that youth, and we need people coming through, coming through the system. And, and we'll, we'll, I'll be promoting that. Me and Jay will be promoting that. And, and that has to that has to keep happening. And obviously, with the quality we can bring into the club, you know, that adds that extra bit of spice and that extra togetherness. Yeah, of course. Uh, the, the game got put back by about 20 minutes due to an injury. It's good to see him walking off the pitch, isn't it? Yeah, no, absolutely. It was just relieved because in any situation, listen, touch wood that Jonathan gets assessed and he's okay because it was his first game, it was his first trial. And it was, and he was looking good. Yeah, and it's just a shame for the kid, you know. And you know, hopefully, he seemed to be coming around a little bit and seemed to get a little bit better. But I'm pretty sure he's going to go to the hospital, get checked, and um, you know, fingers crossed that everything comes back and he makes a speedy recovery. Well, yeah. Well, we're going to Gosport on Friday. It's going to be another, another tough test. Of course, they've signed a few players, including Danny Hollands, of course, in the part of our pathway. Yeah. 
That's going to be another good test, isn't it, Robbie? Yeah, yeah, huge test for us. You know, uh, Gailey spent very well there. Got some good players in, and it'll be a big test for us. But what we can't get sidetracked from, whatever the result is, whatever the matter is, it's our second game back, and some of our players will probably, you know, had one or two, you know, um, sessions. So we've got to take it in context. It's a big game for us in terms of, it's a real good test for us because they will be strong this year, and good luck to them because uh, they've got a good team, and um, you know we. We got to concentrate and focus on getting the best out of our players and the best way we want to do. It. Lastly, uh, have you got a message for the fans coming against? Because of course we've got big games coming up against Portsmouth from Worthing to come down support the lads. Yeah, first of all, can you stop this interview because I'm getting bitten all okay, over? Yeah, so to be fair, no, so I'm, am I. So I'm only am I. joking. But no, no, it's um, <laughs> the supporters have been great throughout my time at the football club. Now, manager, you know what we will be. We'll be entertaining. We've got some great games to come and watch the team and see the new arrivals when they come in and just get behind the team because they've done that non-stop since I've been here so I don't expect anything else and I know they'll come out uh, and watch the teams. Right, cheers Robbie, we'll end it there mate and hopefully we can get some insects break. Cheers.